Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to General Hospital NV, my GH after show. Firstly, let me give a big shout out to my mom and all of the moms out there. Happy Mother's Day. I wonder how many soap moms I have that watch this show. Make yourselves known, I love me some soap moms. I have a soap mom and a soap grandma. My grandmother is the one who got me into GH in the first place, so there you go. First of all, one question for you guys. Does anyone give a damn about what's going on between Sunny and Carly right now? I'm getting a mad sense of deja vu because this actually has happened so many times now. Sunny Corinthos ends up in bed with a lawyer that's trying to make his life complicated. And then her life gets complicated. Rinse, wash, repeat. I'm kind of over it. Second of all, we got Jason going to Castadine Island. Unfortunately, his trip gets interrupted by Franco. Listen, I get that Franco has his fans and that's totally cool. With that said, within the GH fandom, there are a lot of people that don't like Franco and it's mainly because the writer won't get him out of Jason's orbit. If you want to stop pissing the viewers off, just get him out of Jason's orbit. He does not need to be there. There are characters all over the canvas that literally would tear each other apart if they cross paths, but they don't. So why do this with Franco and Jason? Nobody wants to see this. It's just making people really uncomfortable, man. Franco knocked out Jason to try to jog Jason's memory, which totally didn't piss any fans off at all. But we got flashbacks that featured Constance Towers back as Helena Cassidyne. Was anyone else hoping that Steve Burton showed up for the flashbacks too? It just would have made these scenes a bit more pleasant to watch. All we got from that scene was that we saw that Helena tortured Jason and that Jake may have possibly seen Jason get tortured, but we don't have answers beyond that. So we've yet to have a whole lot of answers on the Chimera project. Supposedly this Chimera device made its way to Jake in his little magic box set that he got from Spencer, but really we know it's from Helena. When is he gonna release it to the world and cause danger? I don't know. We'll find out soon, I guess. Something that we found out was that Valentine had the Chimera device and he sold it to Helena Cassidy way back when he looked like the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Anna has yet to find out who Valentine sold the Chimera project to. Oops, not Anna. Not that we were shocked by it, but Anna is actually held up in a hospital in London right now. The woman that has been stalking Valentine is definitely not Anna, which means it's likely that it's Alex. We didn't get that confirmed with us, but I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that it's Alex. Because if the writers decide to go that mask route again, I think everyone would go a little bit mental. It's kind of funny seeing the reactions to people that don't know the whole Anna Alex story that happened on All My Children. I've seen comments that are like, oh, how dare these writers give Anna an evil twin? They should fire these writers. She's been on in the 80s. She's never had a twin. What can you do? So my hope here is that the writers do a good job at explaining to the viewers who do not know who Alex is, who she is, the backstory behind how they met. Maybe they can use some flashbacks from All My Children too. I'm sure those tapes are still around somewhere. If not, use the YouTube clips. Last but not least, Hayden and Finn. I haven't really been talking about them. Brad has been on Finn's ass trying to get him in trouble. Brad has been altering Finn's drug test to make it look like he is not sober. They actually used Hayden's blood to test whether it would show up positive or not, and it did, and it also revealed that Hayden is preggers. Part of me is really super happy with this because I absolutely adore Hayden and Finn, and I think that they would be the cutest parents in the world. But at the same time, I am so sick of baby stories on this show. After this whole Charlotte mess and the Sabrina thing, and the, I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm babied out. I am babied out. But I love their scenes of them trying to figure out what they're gonna do at this point. They're just so adorable to watch. I love me some Hayfin. Anyway, those were my thoughts on General Hospital last week. Uh, I'm thinking that this week is gonna be a lot more interesting. Obviously, the thing I'm most interested in is finding out the whole deal with Anna and Alex. Does Anna know that Alex is out there impersonating her right now? Is something sinister going on with Alex? Is she being mind controlled? I kind of hope that's not factoring in here this time. It was kind of awful. All right, I will catch you guys next week.